What is up everybody? Welcome into this new video to Express. My name is Steven and I'm going to be showing you how to get started with this Stripe payment. So it's a great place to work like an alternative for PayPal and if you want to, let's say, to pay for less fees depending on where's the country where you're actually currently living. First of all, in order to get started, I can strongly recommend you to open a new tab, go for Stripe countries availability and you want to make sure that this one is available into your actual global country in my case i believe it is available so you can go into the global availability and if you see that your country is in here you can always get started in our case since we are from the united states we went to land poland and mexico we want to just aim here and then later on we can see how we can get started so i'm going to go into the x mark and now let's go directly into strived.com i'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can get started sort of free and you might be getting a few rewards just by signing up actually today so let's go and look out for start now stripe is going to be helping us to charge to pay and even to receive the money inside just one account in my case what i want to do is to create a stripe account using my email type your full legal name the country where you're currently living or the country where your business is incorporated even if you are an individual which i i think it would be really 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 important and then later on you want to choose a passcode after that hit into create your account once you have verified your account using your email, you're now going to be ready to check out the dashboard of Stripe. So I'm going to be showing you just the basics into Stripe so you can receive the money, track some payouts, and of course pay with the actual Stripe. So if I wanted to pay using my Stripe account, the very first thing and really, really important thing that I wanted to do is to go directly into payment. And here into payment, what I want to do is to choose how to start collecting money. I'm going to go here. So the very first thing in order to add your bank account, you wanted to go directly into your balances into the upper side. It says balances and here have the overview. Here into the overview, as you can see, we have how much money money we have here. Depending on the country where you're currently living, it's going to be pure, of course, your currency. In my case, this one appears as MXN because we are actually working into the Mexico City. So I want you to focus now into the add bank account into the right part. And here you want to add your payout information. After that, hit into add bank account. And then later on, we are now ready to start depositing some money. Now later on, what I want to do is to focus into payment. Here into payment, let's go for choose how to start collecting payment. And here, if you wanted to collect uh, with using an actual link, this is how it's going to be looking. Manually charge a customer, invoice a customer, or use a hosted payment UI. This is something that's actually really, really, really amazing for the actual demo. If you want to charge in person, I mean, this is something more for more than just a small business. But if you still wanted to just check it out, this data, you can just uh, get started on. So now what I want to do is to add my customers if I wanted to. If I go into the customers, I can add people who are currently buying from my actual uh, store, from my services. So I can add here a test customer here into the name let's say that i want to add just this name i have the description this is a recruiting the buyer and you have the billing information you can add the billing details let's say like this one you have the address line the shipping details i want to add as much information as i can so since this one is a recruiting buyer all of my information when i wanted to buy or receive a payment method from this guy is going to be available right away so now i can add my products that i'm actually selling into striped so here into Stripe, I can go for add a product. And here, as you can see, we can add an image. I can add the name, the description, and some additional options. For example, the description of the statement, the unit enabled, some metadata featuring some listen, uh, the price information, of course, which is really, really important, and more currencies if you wanted to add for more uh, countries and all that. So now what I want to do is to show you a testing of how I use Stripe into my actual website. I do love to use sites.google.com where I can have a lot of products and here I can store a lot of things totally for free and I just need to add a button here. So if I go into my Google sites, I can go into add a button. Let's say here it's just going to be asking me for the name and the link. So here into the name I can go for buy now and here it's going to be asking me for the actual link. This is how I can go back here into Stripe 
and here into striped i wanted to go and look out for the actual product once again here and i can go and add the product whether i can start to adding all the information about the product or i can go into my payments and choose to share a link to the checkout page which i think is going to be much more faster since i already have an actual website so i can go back here into payment links and this is the preview of how it's going to be looking our actual link so i can go for product or subscriptions the product or subscriptions is like this the payment page the product i want to add a new product so automatically it's going to be sending me again here so i can go let's say for example some 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 glasses this is just an example the price you can of course use some usd dollars if you wanted to let's say that this is only 12 dollars and only one time since this is just one time payment and here into the images you can add the image of your product after you have successfully added it you can go into add your product and there we go this is how it's going to be looking our product now i'm going to collect the customer's address if you wanted to i want to require to provide the phone number and add the custom fields um, after that you can go into the advanced options to allow promotion codes to see payment details or whatever i'm going to focus now into create links so i'm going to be showing you how it's going to be looking into my actual website so what i need to do now is to copy this link or i can choose an in beam code so here i have the buy button and go into insert we have the preview this is how it's going to be looking this is what i was looking for i hit into insert and then i want to move this block down here so this is how it's going to be looking the actual payment so that later on what i can do is just to try to edit this a little bit i go into my publish site and i scroll down just to make sure that the actual link that we have generated is actually working so i'm going to go into buy and this one sent me into the Stripe checkout version, of course. And here I just need to go into the contact information, the card information, the name and card, the billing address, all of that. And here should be appearing my actual product. So this is how I do love to charge with the actual Stripe. There's actually more ways that we can do this. For example, manually charge a customer, uh, invoice a customer, hosted an actual payment UI. And the checkout demo should be appearing there. And the one-time payment is actually here. And it's actually looking really, really great just in case that you don't have any website and you want to charge like a one-time payment or whatever. You can change the brand colors, the coupons, the shipping, tax support, phone number, and much more. So I think we have now covered the basic of how we can use a Stripe account. And then later on, it's up to you if you wanted to use this only for receiving payment or to actually just uh, add some customers. And then later on, you can uh, pay your billings or whatever. But uh, Stripe is really, really great to start as a small business. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to see more great toast from the actual Stripe dashboard, thank you so much for watching the video. And well, thank you once again. And I'll see you next time.